Hi, this is Reggie with Stupid Racings. In this video, I will show you how to add lower thirds in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to share with you two ways to add lower thirds in Final Cut, by template and by DIY. So let's get it on! Let's start with the first method. Go to your browser, then go to tiles, click lower thirds. You have a plethora of options right here. Lots of options to choose from. Let's go over to comic book upper. Let's drag it on our timeline. Now let's double click the name description to change. Let's make it Comic Con 2022. You can also change the font, size, and so on. You can also change the color of the text, but that's it. You can change this box right here and those circles. But there you have it. You have a lower third. That's good to go. If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. For the second method, let your creativity soar. You can do whatever you like, but for this tutorial, let's make it simple. Okay? Okay? Go to your title browser and then search for basic TI. Drag it to your timeline and then hit B. Then slice your basic title. Hit A to go back to select tool and then left click backspace. Let's make it a little bit shorter right here and then let's duplicate it by holding option click and drag okay now go to your upper clip double click the title change it to chain let's change font to bebas let's make it a little bit bigger 150 okay that's about right and then drag the circle to move it upwards select the bottom clip Double click the title, change it to IT, security, expert. Let's make it a little bit smaller, like that. Drag the size, drag it up. Okay, let's add some oomph to our lower third. Okay, let's go over to the browser, go to generator, and go to solids, go to custom. Drag the custom to your timeline, but be sure it's at the bottom of your title, okay? Okay, and let's drag it here to make it smaller. Hit B, slice it, click A, select backspace. Okay, we now have a box for our lower third. And then select the custom solid and then right click the viewer and then crop. Just drag the blue handle in the middle to crop it like that. Just drag it like so. Drag this, drag it, then done. Let's change the color to maroon. That's about right. Then go to your video inspector. Let's change the opacity to 75 to make it a little bit better. Okay. And then let's contain by selecting all of it and then hitting option G to make a compound click. Let's make it lower. Third. Hit enter. Okay. You now have a lower third. Let's add another oomph. Let's add fade in and fade out effect, okay? Drag your playhead at the first frame of your lower third and then click the keyframe bottom right here and then move five frames to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And then click the opacity keyframe again and then drag the playhead at the last frame of your clip and then click the opacity keyframe and then move five frames to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Add keyframe. Let's go to the first keyframe. Let's make it 0%. And then next keyframe, 100%. Next keyframe is 100%. Last keyframe is 0%. Look at that. So smooth. Oh, yeah. Nice. So easy, right? Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. Hey, I have a gift for you. A pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below for your free gift.